In February we get the River Raids update in Valhalla, a dynamic, challenging and highly replayable raid experience with 3 new maps, higher stakes and different difficulty levels. Like that all sounds really cool, so I thought let's already make a build based around raids that is already great right now when doing many of the camps, assaults or of course raids, but likely also when this big update comes around. So a like on the video would of course really help me out. And let's go. I'm doing weekly Helix credit pack giveaways for 2300 Helix credits and you can enter via the link in the pinned comment and the giveaway is for subscribers of the channel only. I will email the winner and announce it in a future video. This build has the speed to take out enemies very fast and easily. It is tanky enough so even on very hard you will be able to get multiple hits before you go down. And you will have your life back in no time too. And by the way, all the gameplay that you're seeing here is on the very hard difficulty. The build has a great melee range. It takes out groups in an instant. And it's pretty easily obtainable as well. I'm namely using the Brigandine armor set. That you can also get relatively early in gear chest in mid power level regions. And I will share all the locations at the end of the video. And this armor set is great because you get increases to armor and melee damage when two or more enemies are around. Up to 30 extra armor and 25 extra melee damage when surrounded by 5 or more enemies. Something that will easily be possible during raids or when you just run into a camp and alert multiple people. The tactic is then to use the fire strike ability and then quickly hit the enemies, already do a dodge before they die to cut off the animation so you can immediately go to the next enemy. And to then also increase the speed by 10 thanks to the Fjord Spear and I hope I pronounced that right. You can find this one very early on in Leicester Shire. You likely already have it. So because of this perk I try to close the gap with a dodge to then have increased speed when hitting with both spears. I'm also using my favorite non-helix spear the Fafnir's Fang. Of course a reward from the Drangir in Norway over here on the map. So you can get both spears super early on. And Fafnir's Fang works great in combination with the Brigandine armor set because it gives you crit chance when also surrounded by 3 or more enemies. So basically when the set bonus from the armor set is active as well. And I put the restore a low amount of health for each critical hit major rune on this weapon. Because I have the increased crit chance. So more chance to get health back. And this perk can of course be found on the Copis dagger. It works great on that weapon. But it's super nice on two spears too. Because two spears are basically two daggers. A bit slower but with way more range. And... Sure, if you have the gunk near for an even longer range, you can use that instead of one of the other spears. But really the tactic is to only use light attacks unless the enemy is blocking. Then you want to open them up first with a heavy attack and then just quickly strike with the light attacks. And this also where my focus on the speed stat comes in. So sure, I have the extra speed so when dodging, but I also use many great speed runes to increase the speed even more. Because the faster you strike, the faster the enemy catches fire from the fire strike ability and then just simply die like it's really fun to do a combo then just walk away because the enemy will die from the insane damage over time and more speed also means that the crits can appear more often but overall speed runes also are nice because they give the actual bonuses that are noted on the item while many of the other runes will actually decrease in value the more of them you put on your gear. So that's why I have two speed runes on both my spear and on the bow and I use the Viper bow for this build. I'm actually not even shooting the bow but the crit chance after each hit also applies on your melee weapons. So then I got a major rune which increases speed after each hit and then my spears become almost as fast as daggers which is just insane. And of course the crit chance from the Viper bow is also great for once again to get health back and also nice because the fire crits give you health back as well. So again, very easily stay alive against big groups. But this build is actually also amazing against bosses because of the insane speed. I also have to restore health on a parry rune to block incoming strikes and get health back from previous attacks. And we'll, by the way, talk about some ways to get runes in a moment. But yeah, now you're already an insane powerhouse and then you still have the armor runes. 
So for the armor runes, I focus more on the defense. I got health runes on the legs. I got armor on the arms and melee resistance on the head with some light and heavy resistance on the two other pieces. And the kind of broken rune system is kind of the reason for this. Meaning that you can better focus on one type of rune per gear piece than to only focus on one type of rune for your whole build. Because that one type of rune will get worse the more you use it. I don't think it's intended, but that is how it works right now. So I think this is the best solution for likely every build in the game at the moment. And I, by the way, use the Brigandine Major Rune on the chest for extra speed when surrounded by more enemies. And as noted before in previous videos, but I still want to tell you here for if you haven't watched those previous videos, you can easily earn runes by going to the shop. It resets every like 45 minutes to an hour of game time and also every time you level up. So if you visit them regularly, then you will have a lot of runes before you know it. And there's also still a rune duplication glitch in the game. I will leave a link to a video explaining that. And then when watching that video, you want to look at the video bar because I talk about it at the end. This will help you copy some runes to get multiple of them. Although I mostly got like all that are necessary for this build by simply checking the shop regularly. But the core of this build is really the armor set, the weapons and the great speed runes. And they are all pretty easily obtainable and I think that's important for builds that I want to showcase here that you can easily make them in your game as well. And I will also not mention a lot or any helix items for future builds unless they were or are available at Reda. But I'm curious to hear from you as well. So if you got any builds in Valhalla, then totally let me know via the input at Drapta.com email address. I would love to see some different ways to play that you figured out. Like I'm not even using a lot of abilities or my bow, just the light attacks and the fire strike ability. And I think in particular for those river raids, this build is going to be sick. So I really hope that even with this build, it's gonna be challenging. But I don't think so. We will have to wait and see. But when we know more about that February update, I will of course let you know here. So totally subscribe for way more Valhalla content. If you haven't already, a like on the video would of course really help me out. Totally check out my previous video on all the things you can do in the game after finishing Valhalla, the main story. You can watch it by clicking the bubble that appears on screen. And now I will show you all the locations for all the Brigandine armor pieces. Goodbye!